A fourth and final closed-door hearing for Iranian-American journalist Jason Razayan. The 39-year-old who faces four charges, including espionage, has been in custody in Tehran's notorious Evin prison for more than a year. That's longer than any Western journalist in the Islamic Republic. And for their part, the Washington Post reporter's relatives have firmly rejected all allegations against him. He is a journalist. He was put in prison because he was doing his job for the Washington Post. Some people believe that he is a spy. He is accused of being a spy, espionage. He, is not, he did not do espionage. He was doing his work, reporting on Iran. Print journalists, our job's difficult, but it's also kind of easy because there's so much to write about. Razayan was arrested in July 2014 along with his wife, an Iranian journalist. She was released on bail after 72 days and is currently awaiting trial. Meanwhile, officials in the U.S., including President Barack Obama, have been calling for Razayan's release. But Iran says it doesn't recognize the journalist's dual nationality and is trying him as an Iranian citizen. Jason is a political prisoner. They are trying him as an Iranian, but he is an American and an Iranian dual citizen, but his rights as an Iranian citizen are not being followed because he should have been allowed to have been out on bail after 360 days. Friends and family say the journalist's health has severely deteriorated during his incarceration. According to his lawyer, Iran's revolutionary court will determine the fate of Razayan within a week.